Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are one day closer to FC25, and man, do we need it. But I'm starting to notice something. It has to do with leaks, guys. Yes, that early leaked information for all the stuff that we already know about FC25, including ratings and card designs and packs and stuff like that that are already going to be a part of the game. I want to talk about some of that today because they're happening earlier than ever and it's honestly got me a little bit worried about FC 25 in regards to what else is going to be leaked that might hurt some of the hype for this game because it already feels like some of the hype for this game has been hurt because of some of the leaks happening so early that we're going to go into that today guys and talk about leaks a little bit and maybe cover some of that new leaked information that you haven't seen yet if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's just talk about this straight away guys we've known this for the past couple of well almost a week or two now that the full database has been leaked this is something in the past that ea have released themselves the full database of cards usually drip feeding us some sort of top 50 or top 100 ratings release and then getting to the full database but instead EA have somehow leaked this and people have got their hands at information. And of course, we don't have a app or a website where we can really build starter squads and start to really create the hype of the early game ourselves with all of these card ratings. All we just have is a database of the ratings. And yeah, there's all the cards that are in there, but it's not as, you know, fully inclusive of the information as a full ea database would be now where this moves forward is yesterday ea confirmed once again all of the icons now we had the leaks right and this is what's crazy about it right the leaks are spot on this is the leaked page of icons that were listed as coming to fc 25 a couple of weeks ago with their official stats when the whole database was dropped and everything else and yesterday ea confirmed themselves all of the stats and all of the dynamic images and actually playstyle pluses that these icons are going to have gareth bale's 88 rated with the exact same card that we looked at in yesterday's video talking about the leaked stats he's got rapid plus which is exactly as leaked as well we've got buffon with that far reach we saw his card yesterday we have a lot of shelling with the finesse plus this card looks cracked by the way just to take a step back from the video and talk about this for a second i know i mentioned it yesterday but this is genuinely a card i think might be crazy in this year's game depending upon some of the other aspects of her card other play styles weak foot skill moves i think she's four star four star that's the the leak which is probably right but that card looks honestly really crazy can't wait to see how she plays in game marinette pinchon a striker with acrobatic plus not the most popular but 89 shooting and 88 dribbling could be pretty good Taram, of course looks cracked this is his confirmed card dynamic image everything slide tackle plus he can play center back supposedly that's going to be a really big icon this year julie foudy relentless plus as leaked and then we've got Aya Miyama, left mid, and then it was leaked yesterday as well that she can actually play center mid. So you can have Miyama and Sawa in the same team, two Japanese women midfielder cards that look pretty good. Um, 88 passing, 90 dribbling on her card with dead ball plus. And then you have Angerer, another goalkeeper with far reach plus as well. So these are all official leaked cards. These are official, not leaked. I've been so used to saying leaked like we're talking about today. These are official from EA because they've started to actually post some of this good information i will say this little like face image i'm guessing is in game from gareth bale i hope it's just the image like they took for this screenshot because man bale looks a little bit done dirty compared to his actual card here the image on his card versus that in-game like scan image looks a little bit done dirty anyways what was confirmed from this is the leaks and the actual cards are spot on so that means that all the leaks we've had for mbappe and bellingham and all these other cards that have been leaked I mean, we're basically assuming now that they are spot on. So we have, I know it's annoying to access it because it's on this app, but this is the earliest leaked full database of ratings ever. First time ever we have early, like ratings this early. Now, guys, I want to compare this to previous games, right? Because we had the full database. Again, like I said, hard to access comparatively because there's no website that you can go build squads on or anything like that. But like last year in FC24 at the very start of the year, September 6th is when we had the first ratings leaks, and that is like right around this time, couple days after. So the first week into September, we had ratings and it was leaked. 
in FIFA 23, we had ratings on August 21st. And the only reason we had ratings that early that year is because Microsoft accidentally opened up FIFA 23. I don't know if you guys remember this. Microsoft allowed FIFA 23 to be opened and playable on August 30th instead of September 30th, which is when it was supposed to release that year. They messed up big time. So all the ratings were leaked then and the cards were leaked then because the game was accidentally released early. One in the chat, if you remember that. I'm not streaming. This is a YouTube video, not a one in the chat. Comment down below if you remember that. That's what I'll say. But in FIFA 22, going back even another year, Babyface Nate, we have September 16th. And this is a leak. Like, that is so late compared to what we have this year with, again, August 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th is when we started to see these leaks. And then the full database was released on August 26th. Everything, all the players. Honestly, it is crazy. Earliest by two weeks all time ever that we have had the database. Now, the question is a little bit, why does this happen? In my opinion, people have figured out there's money in it. Guys, this leaking stuff has become a business, right? You think about leaks all year long. We've had leaks now for the past three, three years, really like super consistently. It's become such a massive thing. And it's a business, like I said, because the source, whoever is leaking this stuff, guys, either it's somebody at EA or people that are connected to EA that are privileged to have the inside information. Maybe it's a third party, whoever it is. EA is such a massive company. There's so many people. They say they're trying to find and figure out and stuff who is leaking this stuff and giving out this information. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but like, it's going to be really hard to find it. Um, and there's a whole bunch of rumors on like who's doing it. And like, there's a whole group kind of like the black market in a way where they're like selling the leaks, which is just crazy, but it's, it's motivated by money, right? So somebody has the leak, they have the info, they leak it to these guys on Twitter who post about it. They give it to their paid, uh, Patreon groups who can make coins off of the leaks. We see that every single year, especially this year with, um, evolutions and then those guys also post it to twitter, to twitter i don't have anything against the guys on twitter i really don't because they're just the ones that are conveying the information and getting the information to the general public the the problem is the people who have the information in the first place that are deciding to accept money because this is all paid for guys this is all paid for if you had no idea about this there's some shady stuff going on in the background to get this information out there's money being exchanged, large amounts of money for this information because the people paying for it know that they can use their audience to make money off of it as well. And the guys with the info are like, well, I have this. If it's secretive and I can give it out and I don't get found out, why don't I take a couple thousand dollars to leak out some of this stuff? So that's the rumor of all of it. I'm not involved in this, guys. Personally, I've never been involved in getting leaks or knowing the leaked information apart from what is tweeted out because, guys... I think, honestly, the game is more fun when there aren't leaks like this. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm not going to get too into the weeds of any of that because that's a whole different video, maybe in its own self. But this is what continues to worry me about the game is we keep getting leaks. Like, think about all the promos that we've had this year. Every single Wednesday or Thursday, we're posting a video on this channel about here's the leaked cards. You know, Trophy Titans is leaked. Fantasy foot is leaked. We have all of these leaked cards. The market's already crashing or moving ahead of time because people know what is coming. It's impacting prices, impacting the game in ways that I really don't think EA intended to be. I don't think, guys, that EA really want the leaks because, sure, it drives engagement and it drives clicks. And you should see some of the views and even myself, like, tweeting out some of the concept cards and having some dialogue with you guys. Like, man, this gets a lot of hype. 200,000 views on this Mbappe post. Like, we could click through so many of these and see the ratings numbers. 360K on this Bellingham. 500,000 on this Bellingham. Other accounts getting millions and millions of impressions um, on these sorts of tweets. I get it. It drives the engagement. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't play into what EA wants and really what would be the optimal kind of build up into the game. Think about it. Right now, we just got hyped for all these ratings for the cards that we're looking to see in FC 25 here very soon. Now, the problem with it being so early is we get hyped before all these ratings. We want to build starter squads. We want to look at these players. We want to find out about the cards that we're soon going to be chasing and using in FC 25. But now there's this gap. The hype starts to build. And instead of like, oh, it's only two days away from the web app, let's go build squads with the database that EA give out, right? Like we're talking about a database that we have. It's not the real database. And these websites like Footbin are not adding the unconfirmed players to the database because 
A, I don't know how they would do that. B, it would take a lot of time. And if, if there, were, there was something that was messed up, you know, yeah, that's not going to happen. These guys are only adding the real confirmed cards, which is basically some icons and heroes at the moment, to their sites so we can't go and build squads. We're waiting for something like this, but until this comes out, we're just stuck here in this waiting period. And again, like I was saying, like you get the ratings that builds the hype, you start building the squads, and then boom, you're like into the game, learning about the new stuff that's going to be going on. And like really what should be happening is the hype should kind of start here. It should just gradually rise up. It should rise up pretty steep right and then boom you're into the game but right now it's like oh we had a bit of a hype with the ratings and now we're just back down and it's like flatlining it's like well now we're just waiting for the game and it just it leaves us more disappointed than anything else because we get our hopes up and then it's back down it's kind of like emotional roller coaster is honestly what it is because it's hype then nothing and then the hype's going to come back here at some point but right now we're just in this waiting period. We're stuck. We just wish that we had a game to play. And FC24 at the moment, sure, there's some things to grind. We're hunting XP. We're hunting 99s if you're chasing any of that. Um, I'm playing a speed run of Weekend League at the moment just so I can try to get more XP. Terrible Weekend League. I'm quitting out when I go down by two. It's been bad. But that's besides the point. It's just like we're stuck in a sense, right? Now, again, I'm not here to just sit here and complain about leaks for a whole entire video. Um, as we do want to look at a couple more that have been dropped and talked about um, in the last couple of days that maybe you guys haven't seen, like all I'm just kind of here to say is I'm realizing that we're in a world of leaks where leaks are going to continue for the time being. I mean, there were some times last year at the end of FC24 where we were like, oh man, there weren't very many leaks. Is EA getting a hold on some of the leaks? But I just had a thought about it and I was like, no, it's just that the people that were putting out the leaks didn't feel like it was worth it for them to buy the leaks from the guys who were giving them out to them. You know what I'm saying? So that was the situation by the end of the year, in my opinion. And we already have all these leaks ahead of time um, about car designs. Um, I mean, this stuff, though, I'll be honest, this stuff was leaked last year really early as well, uh, because I think what happens is people get this information from being able to learn and read and maybe even knowing the right place to look. I don't think all of these leaks, I should say this as well, I don't think all of these leaks are from people that are buying them or doing malicious things. Some of it is just people really talented that have um, knowledge about software and internet code and all this stuff that like I'm not super knowledgeable about there's a lot of people that probably know about it that know how to find and look in certain places to read code and then interpret it to know what it actually is and files and all this stuff so some of that probably comes from there but I'm just trying to share my experience and what I've even heard from leakers themselves about how this whole process works I've spoken to leak leakers before in DMs um, and that's the closest I've been to the leak scene to be completely honest uh, but that's how some of the stuff works now for this sort of stuff the these like car designs, this happened last year too. And really, I think we are learning about these car designs and seeing some of this because we're going to get some official communication from EA soon about what is upcoming next. This card, by the way, when it was posted, I think this design looks absolutely sick. This uh, winter wild cards, evidently it's like maybe not added to the code. It might just be a concept. I don't know about this one, guys. Um, the Lukaku part of this is so AI and so fake that it's crazy. Like, look at that Lukaku with the Santa hat. Like, it's it's so fake. But the car design behind that, the Winter Wild Cards, it looks a whole lot like Footmas, man. And if you guys remember, it was either last year or FIFA 23 where there was an actual Footmas car design that was added to the code. And it didn't end up being used in game. But, like... That gives me footmas vibes, man, that right there. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But some of this stuff, I think, is going to be, you know, shown to us through the upcoming pitch notes. And we'll talk about those again in a second. But you see these car designs here last from last year's one. Those were leaked last year ahead of time as well. I think people get the graphics or somehow get the leaks of this early and they post about that. But one thing I do want to post about the leaks too with this car design is the road to the knockouts, right? We think that might be our first promo. It's probably going to show up in that uh, that graphic. Oh, pack designs as well. Have to get to this. I mean, this isn't super crazy of a leak, but uh, pack designs for SBCs, I don't know what that is. That's a regular pack. It almost looks the exact same as FC24, being completely honest. That's the Foot Champs pack design. Like, it just looks slightly different because of the car design being slightly different. That's all that I'm seeing there. Um, and then there is, ooh, a Foot Champs car design. I think that looks sick. Champs and a Champs Evo, which I do actually... Actually, this is pretty interesting. The Champs design and the Champs Evo design. The Champs Evo design looks better, in my opinion. 
I don't know, they're close. Anyways, um, those are kind of the car design leaks that we have uh, there at the moment. But like I was mentioning, this is what we need. We need this soon, okay? I know that it's still early, and this is even part of the problem for me as a content creator right now. I want this news and information about FC25 so bad because I've got my hype and my hopes up because of the ratings leaks, right? And this is realistically probably not coming out until the next week. Like this last year, I think with all the information that we got in FC, like this is a crazy, crazy informative thing. They're gonna give us all of the pieces of detail that we have been wanting about the small things in Ultimate Team for FC 25 that we haven't learned yet. This is where we learned about evolutions last year, saw the UI for the first time. This is where we learned about the promos that we were gonna have, how they were changing team of the week, um, icons having a base version, and then get, getting upgraded through promo versions. Like guys, there was so much stuff in this. That's why there's so much hype building around it but i can't see this happening within you know less than seven days like it's probably going to be another week and then maybe even beyond that before we get this sort of information um and that's kind of like the next big thing but whenever this does drop there'll be probably a couple of weeks before that but it just puts us puts us in a really weird spot even as a content creator at the moment because fc24 yeah sure there's still stuff to do we might even still make a video or two on the end of fc24 as we're still chasing after some of those packs right and that stuff like i said i was playing weak in league at the moment maybe just getting one more win to get six win so i can at least get some xp because i'm chasing right the end goal which is the xp to get the 80 uh what is it 84 times 7 for fc 25 or 84 times 5 for fc 25 which is a pretty stinking good pack um to carry forward that's the motivation at the moment right but it just puts us in a really weird spot because fc 24 feels like it's over fc 25 feels like it's too early to get excited about because all we have is information about the leaked cards which are kind of confirmed but we're still waiting for more confirmation from ea as we pack better check so it just it's really weird even i'm just being honest with you guys from this standpoint of me making this video to you it's just a really really weird point at the moment in this cycle but it's only going to be for a short amount of time and there is some of this weirdness every single year uh, because you go from the next game from the first game to the next one and there's always some sort of limbo period in between which is absolutely fine to take a break and all that on all that jazz i know a lot of you guys are excited for 25 i know some of you are still vibing on 24 so it's kind of hard to like hit all of your guys's you know enjoyments and what you're enjoying about both games at the same time it's kind of just a weird it's like juggling period at the moment so all that to say i really appreciate you guys watching the videos right now um it's always kind of a weird time as i mentioned but we will continue to power through it and it is the hype for 25 that continues to keep me going on this game like i mentioned and looking forward to 25 like we have been doing for these past couple of videos you've probably seen a lot of my tweets recently that are all like fc25 related like the, the bail tweet from yesterday um the sun tweet about some price and stuff like i'm so excited so excited for the start of 25 you can see it in my twitter feed if you just scroll, go and scroll through there but um it's it's got to go somewhere right right now we got our hypes up database is out now it's trickled back down so what is ea going to give us next are there going to be leaks next ea it's fine if we have the database for a little bit extra time you know i know september 18th guys september 18th is literally two weeks away we are two weeks away from the web app drop which feels like a long time but also it's not at the exact same time so we're getting there we're getting really really close the fc25 information and stuff is coming in it's just a matter of a couple days from here to now for that to actually be happening. We're going to cover it every step along the way. And I appreciate you guys once again tuning into the videos. Make sure you check out the second channel if you want to see us chase some of those 99s yesterday. Uh, the new player pick that we had yesterday was actually kind of interesting. And one shout I will do for content today is the 96 plus pick will be going away. So EA, just make this a one of four, okay? Keep it the same, 89, maybe even do it a 91 rated squad. Make it a one of four, give us that extra slot and truly make the 99s the most accessible they could possibly be. So that's the video for me today, guys. Drop in the comments down below what you think about leaks and what you think about this whole conversation. I know it's not something that we talk about, but this is also a good time of the year since we're in this limbo period to kind of take a step back and say like, man, what are things about this game and content that are just not talked about all the time that really could be. And I think leaks is one of those things. So comment down below what you think about leaks. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out the second channel and all the other socials where we have content going up right now related to the FC25. Those links are down below in the description. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the counts. See you there. Peace out.
clouds.